Manny Wallow and Ryder Newman in the middleweight division. Ryder Newman, solid wrestler. He's got some good power in his hands as well with a lot of knockout wins on his record. First shot knockout win in 42 seconds and then another first shot knockout win in 22 seconds. A few decision wins and then losing to Trey Sean Gore, an absolute beast in the UFC. And then Josh Kinlan, another very solid fighter that is inside of the UFC. He's a solid wrestler and grappler mainly going out there to take you down look for the rear naked choke submission or get the knockout on the feet when he is pressuring you but he's fighting a guy in Manny Wallow who's a veteran of the game he's 35 years old at the time of this recording uh, and he's very legit he beat Jeremiah Wells in 2016 that's a that's a really really impressive win right there and then he's got a, a lot of other solid wins he's got a lot of decision wins right there which leads me to believe um, that this fight is going to be a decision but it should be a good one. Ryder Newman, again, needs to go out there, wrestle, and grapple to that dominant decision. But Manny, Manny Wallow, from the film that I've watched of him, his takedown defense is honestly really solid. Yeah, the last time he fought uh, was about two and a half years ago, but I like his takedown defense. I do like his striking. He's got a really good left hook. And as you're coming in on him, he does tend to catch his opponent with that overhand right. He's got good leg kicks on the inside. So I think the striking advantage definitely is going to go Manny Wallow. Uh, he's more powerful. He's faster. He's more explosive. I believe he's going to have the reach of his, but I'm not entirely sure about that one. And overall, he's just, he's the better fighter right here. It could go either way. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of predictions to be going for Ryder Newman because he's a UFC uh, ultimate fighter veteran, but it's a self-explanatory one. I think Manny Wallow uh, outstrikes Ryder Newman on the feet, kind of like Trayshawn Gordon, not as dominantly, but ends up winning the fight by a unanimous decision.